So I've just got to Terminal 21, which is a super, uh, not a super, a shopping mall in uh, Bangkok. It's not the biggest shopping mall, but it's on the Sukhumvit line, right by uh, a big touristy area. Uh, Sukhumvit is one of the most stayed at places in Bangkok from what I've read. Um, this was one of the highest rated malls in Bangkok. Loads of them have 4.4 stars on Google with like tens of thousands of reviews um, but this is the highest even though it's not the biggest so we're gonna go have a little look through see what they got see what the prices are see if it's worth bothering with see you in a minute just over there is where I uh, came in and I'll show you I don't know let's start at the bottom looks like there's a big old food court at the bottom We'll get to that in a bit though. I think you can actually go to the airport here. It sort of makes sense being called Terminal 21, but there's two different things I've seen saying going to airports. So there's a bit of the old ceiling. I think it's like five floors. One, two, three, four, five. It's five floors. Go look at some shops and some prices. I don't know where to start really. Food. I'll have a flap around on this floor and see what's what. Well, out of my bloody price range, fucking three thousand eight hundred bucks. Fucking hundred pound a shirt. Fucking idiots paying hundred pound a shirt. Well, I know a few, but <laughs> you wouldn't catch me doing it. In this place is for people with too much money. Those jeans there were £200 a pair of jeans as well. And you're not going to catch me spending that much on a pair of jeans. Uh, is there any reasonable shops? Let's have a look at this trainer shop just in case. No, 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 they're still going to try and rob me. That was still £100 for a pair of trainers. I spent £100 on my lifting shoes because they're actually good for something. I'm not spending £100 on trainers either. Uh, okay, I'm going to go upstairs. We'll do the food stuff later. I'm going to go upstairs. There's only looks like it's one set of escalators to get up there. Uh, okay, well, I'll see you when I'm up there.
start it up. And already we have promotion one by one get one free. What's that on? On this? Buy one get one and uh, when you buy three for ready for three item, everything for ready uh, three item get fifty percent. Okay. So whatever the tag price is, uh -huh. buy three get buy, fifty percent. Yes, buy, buy one get one free or buy three buy, fifty percent. Buy one get one free. Yeah. Right? When you buy three get fifty percent. Okay. So, for women, they got sensible prices in H&M, normal human prices, people with not too much money. Uh, and the super dry was more human prices, but it was a deal on as well. Free, get free 50% off. So that was a uh, 50 pound, 1,800 is uh, 10, 20, 10 pound is 100 pound, 4,000. Uh, God, I can't stand in Max under pressure. Max under pressure is not the one. Uh, so 25 pound then with the deal. 25 pound a shirt with the deal. Quarter of the price of the other Connaughton spaces. I'm trying to rob you. And super dry is a nice make as well, but not in this weather. I wouldn't want to wear most of super dry stuff in this weather, it's all thick. Uh, anyway, yeah, H&M, normal human prices. Super dry with deals is normal-ish. Yeah, normal human prices as well, actually. That's what I'd probably pay. That's my top end of what I would pay. Anyways, I go look at some more shops. That's a normal human price as well. Uh, 410 pounds, that's, that's cheap actually. This is, must be the equivalent of Primark. Four, uh, 410 pounds to five pounds, seven, uh, six pound 50, I think that is. Six pound 50 a shirt, so that's cheap. So if you need some cheap shirts, if you're like me, and you're a cheapskate and you want value for money, uh, £6.50 t-shirt, so that means the rest of it's probably cheap as well. Oh, we've got even cheaper stuff for women. So that's um, £5 for one, £4 each for two or more. So yeah, cheap shop. Oh, I might as well walk in there, might I know. You're going to want to see it, you're going to complain if I don't show it. Yeah. Anyways, clothes shops are boring, I don't do clothes, so let's move on to something else. It's like a mid-range place. And then I've got some 20% off of that as well. So it's like 50, 40 quid for a jacket. No, and it was 20% for that. 30 quid for a jacket. Cheap, cheap enough, good. My sort of price range. Uh, got some fluffy, smelly stuff. 
I don't know if any of you care about that. I don't know what crystal rings are actually worth, but that was like 50 quid for obviously not diamonds. Shiny rings, and you know, women magpies, they love that shit, don't they? Uh, where's something else? More trainers, I know that make, it's expensive. No point even looking at that, I'm not gonna buy it. Element 72, never heard of, just look at that. Those wacky sandals there were 110 pounds, 100, what that be, 440, no, 105 pounds with some flappy sandals, so and not another expensive shop. That is a shoe. Starbucks. Starbucks on the second floor. Starbucks on the second floor if you're interested. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find um, the next. Uh, the shop I'm happiest at the moment is the Primark one. <laughs> A-I-I-Z in blue. It's the Primark of Thailand. Uh, am I going the right way? Yeah. Let's go upstairs, look at some more shops. I was mistaken, there's more than five floors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven floors. Jesus Christ. Um, clothes, more clothes, more clothes, more clothes, more clothes, still more clothes. A nice little Japanese temple doorway thing there. Let's have a look at that. It's interesting. That's just for a cap. I quite like the idea of this cap. Daily. I like these little Japanese doorways. We've got a manicure pedicure place for women. What's that mean? Polish? I'm assuming that means polish your nails. What's that? Ten, seven pound gel, gel color, whatever that is. Six fifty, which is ten, fifteen pounds and pennies. Anyway, those are the prices. I'm not getting my nails done. Some more little foodie places. There's a shitload of clothes places in this place. A lot of them are extortionate, but that's because the brands are extortionate. And they're going to buy those brands. There's more lady stuff, more lady stuff. I 
iMedic. That looks very fake. Oh, authorized service provider. IB, authorized two authorized service providers right next to each other. Oh no, service provider reseller. So if your, if your Mac breaks in Thailand, you can come here and knowing what Apple are like when they repair stuff, they charge you an absolute fortune. Although there's some prices there. doesn't say anything about repairs there it's just it looks like it's a shop for our old people who don't know how to set up their apple stuff uh, anyways let's uh, go back the way we came that's the airport that's the airport thing airport escalator let's go around to this jd sport so maybe there's another reasonable price place sometimes this place is uh, reasonable See if they are reasonable in this country. No, that's not very reasonable. Oh wait, it's not. Nike isn't a reasonable brand anyway. Hundred. Uh, Hundred and thirty quid. Well, that's Nike prices, isn't it? They're conized. same as the UK really I think even more expensive that was a uh, hundred and fifty hundred and fifty pounds for night trainers wonderful let's get robbed yay night socks let's see how much they're gonna con us for night socks no price on them so that's when you know they're gonna con you when there's no price or something. Oh look, 500. 500, which is uh, 20, 20, 25 pound. Am I doing that math wrong? Yeah, I must be doing that math wrong. 1,000 would be 25. Oh my God, I almost got maths. Don't. What did I just say that was? 25. 12 and a half. Am I doing that much right? 500, 12 and a half quid. Still too expensive for socks. Socks for about three, four, five, six quid. Why not us again? Good old night, pointing people. People who don't know what they're doing with money to buy night products. That's why poor people are poor, because they buy night. Same as, same prices, same prices as British JD Sports. Uh, ladies stuff. I think it would be a bit awkward if I look at the prices on that. <laughs> it might not approve. Uh. <laughs> oh, more ladies stuff. Better not look at those prices either. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ, this is a ladies corner. 20 shops just for ladies stuff. I wonder if I can see any prices on display so I don't have to look like a pervert. No, no prices on display, fuck. Well, you don't know how much that stuff costs. Oh, cheap, cheap sandals on display. Are we hoping? Are we hoping cheap sandals? No more corn artist prices, maybe? Have a look, see if we can see something. So 
so te, uh, what was that? A thousand baht, twenty five pound. Uh, twenty pound sandals. I don't know what you women normally pay for sandals. I wouldn't pay twenty five pound for a pair of sandals. You women, you like womeny stuff, though, don't you? So. I like plain and boring and keep money in my pocket. Air what? That's a man make, isn't it? Let's see what they're charging for that. Twenty-five, thirty, five odd quid. I think that's. I think I'm right in saying that. That's the UK, UK prices again. More ladies stuff. Smelly stuff for the ladies. Ten, fifth, ten, twelve pound. Soap, seven, eight, six, seven, eight pound. Wild argan oil. Um, just under 2018 let's say I don't know what any of this is actually worth you women might this uh, is expensive uh, 50 pound 40, 45 pounds Jesus what is that French grape seed scrub 45 pound everyone scrub yourself with some French grapes Ethiopian green coffee cream. It's got some Ethiopian all over us. For 45 quid. For some scrub. Because you women are dirty cows and you need to scrub yourself and stuff. Um, as they don't sell us men scrub. So it must mean you're dirty. Dirty, disgusting Japanese cherry blossom. Is it? Is it perfume? Is it? Um, yeah, I can't help you there with prices. Just regular prices by the looks of it, other than some really expensive stuff. Some African y looking stuff. Should we get a camera in there? Mm, that's me being presumptuous. Swadika. Oh my god. That mirror is quite clean, I almost walked into that. I don't know if that legitimately was African-y stuff, but that's what it reminded me of. Smelly stuff, more smell. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's strong. Well, gonna be honest, shopping malls aren't my favorite thing to do. There's a big sumo geezers here. Those sumo geezers are the uh, most interesting thing I've seen in here. But I'm not a shopping man. And 90% of this was con artist prices. So let's hope the further you go up, less people go up here so the cheaper the prices maybe doubt it clothes 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 Sporty clothes, quality tourist clothes, touristy stuff and clothes, more clothes, some clothes there as well. A few like 10 different clothes shops, 
coffee. I see the word coffee, and then cloves. Cloves soups. Ooh. How much? How much are these soups going for? No prices. I do not like companies that do show no prices. That is a pet peeve of mine. Hello. <laughs> do you have prices for suits? Yeah, we start from four thousand baht. Start from four thousand. To 13,000. To 13,000. Do it for my video so they know. I'm doing a mall video. So, 4,000 4, baht, which is 100 pounds, up to 13,000. All custom, everything. How long, how long do you normally take to make it? Two days. Two days? Yes, sir. Okay. Stick it in the video. Swadi cat. So what did I just say? Four thousand starting price. So a hundred pounds starting price for a tailored suit. 13 which is going to be 8 to 12 300 and something I don't know what seats are worth to be honest I've only ever bought a rack one off a rack my room <clears throat> what a surprise more clothing shops <laughs> well at least there's some animals on those t-shirts no prices though Whoa. all 220 baht meaning everything on every shelf 220 yeah. yisip sang I don't know how to say this everything Oh, okay, that's a good price actually. That's actually a good price. 220, 10, five pound something for anything you like. I'll actually show you this lot because that's my price range. Right? t-shirts yeah I approve this is called over the sky over the sky like four you can buy four shirts and get a tote bag as well um, yeah I approve of that one Oh look, more cheap ones. I told you, the further you go up, the cheaper it gets. Maybe I'll come back here and buy some cheap shirts because some of my shirts are far too thick in this Bangkok heat and um, from what I've been told it's only going to get worse as time goes on because they're coming into like hot wet rainy season where it's just humid and disgusting so you want thin shirts uh, restroom perfect timing I'm in the need of that anyway I better not video the restroom well, actually, it's quite cool. So they've got a Londony themed. Okay, I'm going to video it because it's 
asshole. Handicapped men and women. Okay, turning it off now so I can do my business. My business, my business. <laughs> Bye. So I've done my business and what a surprise. <gasps> More clove shops, clove shops everywhere. More clove shops. Another clove shop, and another. Clothes and wooden things. Although I don't think the wooden things are for sale. Jeans, long pants, no prices for the wooden things. So no, just a clothes shop. A comic book shop, that's more... I oh know it's not comic book, it's comic themed shop. Reasonable price as well, I'm going in there. Sorry, sorry, Kat. Hello, sorry, Kat. How much is this for 4 pounds 10 pounds, 12 pounds. How much are these t-shirts normally? Oh, up there, okay. That's the best place so far in this whole building, called Hero. <laughs> called Hero, there you go. I've seen the best place, do we really need to see any more? Another five clothing shops, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, more clothing. I think we've all had I think we've all had enough of clothing, haven't we? What, what all have proven is that there are lots of clothing shops in this place. Um, uh, what else is here? More clothing shops. United Kingdom. United Kingdom bus as a shop. Anyway, uh, clocks, is that a clock shop? That seems, hello there Mr. Officer. Oh no, just clocks on the back wall, three of them. Got my hopes up there, that would have been interesting, clock shop. Scotty car, so clothing, glasses. Oh, I'm not a glasses man. I don't wear them. <laughs> Some people in the video might though, maybe. How much are your glasses? Uh, Prices. Yeah. What's, your, what's your cheapest and what's your most expensive? For the, for the previous that price. 2,900 yeah. and what's your most expensive? Expensive, about 100,000. 100,000? 100,000 for glasses? Uh, about... Jesus uh, almighty. Uh, ah, let me, I'll show them. Maybe there's some rich people who are... Uh... Oh, cars, yeah, that's why. So... 
hundred thousand two thousand four hundred two thousand two thousand five hundred or pounds maybe yeah <laughs> I'm a cheapskate not me but maybe them <laughs> Thank you, it's <laughs> already <So I> cut. <laughs> well, there you go, some cut air glasses. 2,500 a quid, I think. Come and pop in and get a pair of those. Uh, travel in the place. Sport. It's fucking too bad. It's a fuck out of your belt. A pair of bloody glasses. Jesus almighty, what's wrong with people? Well, I mean, they're selling them, somebody's buying them. More clothes. Oh my God, this does my nutting. When I hear people spending that sort of bloody money on it, it does nothing. Go to Specsavers and I get two pairs of glasses that are with the coated lenses on, anti-glare, and that's like 120 quid. Done. They look fine. Do these look fine? Do these glasses look fine to you? Do these glasses look fine to you? And I got two for 120 pounds. Two and a half grand. Jesus almighty. <laughs> People. Anyway, more clothes shops by the way. That's why I'm not uh, a little calf, but the prices are expensive. So I didn't bother showing you. Well, it's the price you pay in other places, so no point. Uh, let's go up another one, eh? Get <laughs> two thousand five hundred pounds. Fair of bloody glasses. Not even two for one. That's just one pair. <laughs> oh, Cartier. That's why the con art is bad. That robs stupid people with too much money. Music man. I sort of never understood why they put stuff like that on benches because now that bench is a single seater. Sort of defeats the point of making a bench in the first place. Uh, more comic book stuff, t shirts. Bit of One Piece. I've still got to get around to reading One Piece. Everyone who reads manga says it's amazing. And I haven't read it yet. Let's have a look in here for... This one's more expensive though. Oh no wait, it's not. Buy two. Wait, that's, Jap that's Mandarin. Why am I looking at it? That's not Mandarin. Maybe that is Mandarin. It's not Japanese. Japanese is less lines in it. I think that must be Mandarin or Hong Kong. Might be simplified. No, it's not. They wouldn't have something that complicated. Must be Mandarin. Uh, let's have a look. Semi-naked figurines. Everyone loves a bit of semi-naked figurines. Dragon Ball, One Piece. Swaddy crap. <laughs> More glasses, which people with too much money often buy. Body bunny. How that stuff is. Maybe that's a tie make or something. I don't know. Uh, I think I've seen that before actually. It is a tie thing. Toy shop. Stamps.
who doesn't like some good old stamps. Wallets, clovesy things, more clovesy things, jewelry things. Oh my god, I'm getting bored of all these clothes. Show me something interesting. Oh, you're not even buying a seaside. What are they got English seaside shit for? What the hell is that? Science equipment? Red Bridge now. Oh fuck me, I hate heights. Let's have a little get a camera angle. That is making me tingle. Let's not look down at that. I like I like Thailand because you can be a cheapskate. And that is why um, I normally pay about one pound fifty a meal. You're not, uh, and there'll be a place down in that bottom food court that will serve me food at a proper price. This stuff's all foreign though, um, like Mandarin, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, and if you want to eat that food. Uh, go to Japan or Korea. I'm going to eat Thai food in Thailand. Kazuka! Uh, uh, the people love staring at you when you're blogging. I'm slowly getting used to it. Pepper lunch? The rubbish name of it. What's this? How much is this? So uh, you're, you're looking at five pounds. Five pounds. So that's what I uh, Five pounds. So I mean, it's, I mean, five pounds is still cheap compared to English prices when you look at a meal. English prices for sitting down anywhere is like a fiver to, to, to fast food places, five, six quid, and then restaurants, it's 20 pound a head. So, but if you're going to eat every day, everyday food, you know, this is five pounds, whereas street food and small places, own brand Thai stuff is uh, one pound fifty. So how much are you can spend every meal? Five pound a meal or one pound fifty a meal? Soon adds up in a month. It's the difference between living for a thousand pound a month and three thousand pounds a month in Thailand. You know, who's going to afford £3,000 a month? I mean, people do, but who's going to want to spend £3,000 a month just living? Anyway, this is the expensive food place. Yum sap! I don't mean yum sap is expensive. That's actually the cheapest place out of all of them. I don't forget, £2.50. I mean, top floor seems to be expensive the bottom floor underground is where you want to go for cheap stuff normally Swaddy cup this is cheap well this is cheap actually Japanese place might have made that up I think it's Japanese and I think that's a combination. Now that is Japanese. I don't know what it is. I'm not good enough to say. Uh, anyway, when I eat, I'll probably go to the bottom floor. In in loads of places, the bottom floor or top floor is normally reserved for the cheap stuff. They keep it out of the way. 
probably so the tourists don't go and only the locals go. But uh, what do we got? Ice cream, burritos. What have we got? Mexican. Mexican grill. Let's have a look at some of this, eh? Tequila. Pound and twenty bar, three pound. And then three pound for a shot and a half is uh Cheap for a restaurant, mate. So we found Coke, 60 bar, 1 for 20. Coke here. I've been finding it for 20 to 40 bar on average. 20 to 40. What do the meals cost? Nachos, oh, eight pounds. Expensive for Thailand. Seven pound, seven pound. this chicken isn't that odd but chicken is cheaper than nachos five pound uh, five pound six pound twenty odd for carne fried lid I don't know what that is fries some sort of fries Tacos, expensive again. Yeah. My consensus is that it's, that's expensive. Just tacos is £7.50 or something. Which... Thailand is expensive. If I won't get my fruit cake, that's my type of deal. It's not Monday though, so no happy deal. Monday and Thursday. How much is the cake to get by one free? Oh, it's expensive. Oh no, wait, that's not, that's, that's not. That's for the full cake, for 10 pound. I mean, that is Swadikap, Swadikrap. Three pound of slice. I'm um, right. If you like this bar, I'll get one free. Two pound, two, one pound fifty a slice. So Mondays and, ch Mondays and Thursdays come out, and it's one pound fifty a slice, which I pay for. Curry, reasonable sized portions, even though it's fake. Three pound. Four pound. Spend more money there than I want to spend. So this is like the proper chain food places, I think. But you go to anywhere in the world and chain food is expensive. I'll show you the um, underground. The Z, no expensive, seven pound. Tenderloin steak, I highly doubt they got tenderloin steak in Thailand. Because everything I've heard about Thailand is that their steak sucks ass. Let's see how much their steaks are. ounces in England for steak <laughs> why I don't know drug dealers use ounces in the shops I don't know why we uh, don't use grams it irritates the hell out of me that no countries are consistent with what they use that's an actual seafood and steaks how much are they charging oh, let's not look at that 30 pounds 20 pounds for a steak that's probably naff.
Oh, tire sake isn't going to be very good. So if you're going to buy one, I think you've got to uh, get some cheap stuff and see if, how cheap it is. And then maybe get a medium one and see if it's actually any better. It's probably just the same stuff with a more expensive sauce on it. Anyway, let's... Uh, I'm getting bored of this expensive stuff. I'm probably going to go to the bottom floor now. There's nothing. The Japanese restaurant. Korean restaurant. Not seen one of those yet. Same sort of thing there, isn't it? Ten, seven to ten pounder, six to ten pounder. The guns are expensive when you. I've seen. I've eaten in a couple of places so far that are expensive, and they're quite nice, but. You're doing eight pound, eight pound a meal, three meals a day. Well, I can't. The trouble is they don't give you enough food for me. If I'm eating 3,500 calories a day, I've got to eat two of everything. So it's not eight pound a meal, it's 16 pound a meal. Or I go eat something else. So yeah, like that. Uh, one last floor. Probably going to cut loads of this walking about out because I've done a lot of flapping. Primary Sundays. Three to five pound. Oh. Three to five pound. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's see what's upstairs. I must have been in for ages now. Right? So this is something they do in this is something they do in Thailand which I've never seen before. So what you do is you put money on a card and then um, at one of these cashier points money on a card and then you go around and spend it and these places are the, normally the cheap places spicy rib stew 20 baht see uh, 50p prawns 75p um, pork and olives 50p 50p, 75p, there you go, look, whole bowls. Whole bowls of stuff for 75p. So you get a few of them, that's the point. Um, let's um, show you some videos.
you get the point though you um come to these little they've got these card things normally every shopping mall has one of these cheap places in it i thought it was on the bottom floor but it's up here and it's like 50p to to uh like two pound a meal depending on the shop you go to so i'm gonna probably put some money on a card now and uh buy some stuff for lunch then everybody just sits together in um, a set area drinks as well Like 50p ice drink, 50p hot drink, 50p. Yeah, enough talking. I'm gonna go get a card and uh, go get some food. Bye. So, this is the card I was talking about. I put 140 baht on it. You can put whatever you want on it, and then when you finish, you just go back and get your money off of it. So, anyways, I'm gonna go choose some stuff and eat some food. Bye. In, in England, uh, I had a motorcycle. But twice, you get twice as much, but for me it's enough. So I just finished eating. I took a while because I uh, ended up, meet, I met a guy called Dave there. And uh, this is the price of the food though, which is 176 baht. All those middle prices, this is the cost, 54, 42, 35, 45. And with that, one of those was two coffees because I bought Dave a coffee and he bought me some mango and sticky rice, which was very, very, very nice. Uh, I think I took a video of it. I'll put it on there as well. Um, so that, and that worked out to be £4.40 for everything you saw there and two coffees, which I'm not sure if I showed you. Um, so really, really, really cheap. £4.40 for all of that instead of when you look at all these other places that I'm surrounded by now it was like six to eight pounds just for the one dish you know one Japanese or Korean or Mexican dish was like six to eight pounds not including anything else so yeah there are definitely places to eat to save money I'll give you a little view of this horrible height and then, and then the only thing left to look at is oh maybe there's another floor uh, I'll have a quick look up there just in case but have a look at this horrible horrible heights anyway let's quickly take a look up there and then see what happens there's a gym up there, but I can't get to it without going past them. So, you're not getting that. What is that? A cinema by the looks of it. Snacks for cinemas. Whatever that is. lifts AV center get some DJI gear DJI gear I was thinking about getting one of them but I haven't used my one that I have that's better than mine but I haven't used my one so probably a big waste of money ASI is one of the best uh, uh, phone companies you can use here for cheap. I got robbed one at the airport because I didn't pay attention to what I actually needed. So I ended up paying like £25 when I could have paid £10 for a whole month for 4G. But never mind.
Anyways, I'm gonna go to the bottom now. Uh, I think I've seen everything up here. It's worth seeing. So I'll see you when I'm in the bottom floor. We've got a couple of banks. This is the second and last floor. There's another floor which I didn't realise. Perfumey stuff. Let's see if there's any perfumes that I actually know. At the cost. Otherwise, I can't tell whether they're cheaper or more expensive. Marvel perfume. <laughs> <laughs> um, there wasn't any perfumes that I recognised, so the prices aren't going to mean anything. Five to. to seven pounds so but with none of them were known mates little copies there's another bank I like bank boots if you need bootsy type things bootsy type things I think this is the food court another food court not the same type as the other one though Middle of it. Look, a subway. A few English people who don't like Thai food. Fuck. Fuck you. Good old British sense of humor. Fuck you. Dairy Queen, isn't that an American make? Dairy Queen, sounds familiar. Okay, it looks like that's it. Same sort of places. Uh, just private businesses, not a food court type of thing. So that's more expensive down there. So top floor of this place, Terminal 21, seems to be the best food for cheap food. And there's one last floor and I'm gonna hurry up with this one. Oh wait, maybe there isn't, because there's. Oh, last floor's a car park. And mailbox. And dry cleaners. Dry cleaning, laundry. Let's just see what the prices are. There's curtains. Do you have prices for clothes? Prices? Tell ah, uh, tell So, so standard. Um, that's quite expensive actually. I paid uh, uh, the other guy, the German I met, Eugene, uh, I paid 200 baht, five pounds, to do two weeks worth of washing in one go. Because I'm a lazy boss and I just put up a bag and that's 200 baht. Uh, I think I'm done here, you know. Can't really think of anything else to stick in this video. Uh, that's that. I'll speak to you when I'm outside. Oh, so what did we learn today? We learned that Terminal 21, the
the bottom floor where you get it going is full of con artist brands that want to rank your, your wallets. So if, you're, if you like your wallet being raped, shop there. If you don't, if you're like me, there's a cheap place upstairs. There's, there's a lot of cheap spaces upstairs actually. So maybe um, for you cheapskates like me, who I call sensible people, uh, go upstairs to like the third or fourth floor. And then right at the top, there's a food court that I was talking about, that most malls have, where you top up a card and then you go and buy stuff. And then you take the card back at the end and you get whatever's back. They're the cheap places. That was like uh, £4.40 and I bought a coffee for someone else as well, which is like 70p of that. So it's less than £4 actually for me, for all of that food. And that wasn't, some of that wasn't cheap food either and it was only £4. So, uh, yeah. Uh, how would I rate it? Yeah, I think it's a good mall. We've got a bit of everything for everybody. Loads of con places con artist places in the bottom and then cheeks up at the top. Uh, a lot of clothes. Mm. But uh, yeah, I think you probably get, there was a little pharmacy I think down there as well, but I don't know if I've got in the video. I think it was by Boots, I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, everything you need there. So um, if you like the video, like the goddamn video, subscribe to the goddamn channel, and I'll try and do more vloggy things where I'm actually talking more rather than just video. See you later, bye.